Our prayer should go out to Kaid. He has been hospitalized after an alleged internal bleeding. And a lot of people are really saying what happened to him. Hope is not a case of assault and other things. That is what it is right here. And we are trying to gather a lot of information about this and to relate it with you guys. <laughs> Guys, who is your biggest artist in Nigeria? I want you to put that in the comment section because a lot of people will just to themselves within Davido, Whiskey, Burner Boy. Some people will call him Rema at a time like this. Some people will even say Kiz Daniel is also a big artist in Nigeria and we need to actually respect that your opinion and put that in the comment section right now my own opinion about all of this is yes these guys are unique to themselves when you talk about burner boy internationally burner boy is bigger than the likes of davido and whiskey internationally but when you talk about africa davido is bigger at a time like this that is something i believe but when you talk about statistics data when you talk about you know achievements when you talk about um you know kind of uh, prizes and uh, wins you should call him whiskey because he is the most decorated african artist that is something you need to understand about uh, this particular big story right here these guys are unique to themselves and their fans cannot really stop fighting each other what is your own take about that put in in the comment section your own opinion about the big story but Bonner boy right now is trying to sell out uh london arena or uh, london stadium the second time that is a big one and he did that with eighty thousand capacity a lot of people are really excited to say yes you know burner boy can still do that again if he wants to do that because burner boy is the rave of the moment internationally and some people are saying that burner boy is selling out afrobeat because he samples too much that is what it is but look at it from another point of view brother boy takes foreign songs and sample it into afrobeat and that is we are really owning those songs into afrobeat also that is one thing i kind of understand about the whole thing but anybody by Bonner boy was an african sample from angeli kijo and that could be really attested to based on the sounds we seen on the internet right now and some people are saying that the samples are too much for burner boy no samples too much for burner boy burner boy has a unique style and we should allow him to explore that unique style the likes of davido has a unique style you know where people write songs and he puts in some kind of uh, you know flavor on it and he's doing well with it and we have uh, a person of whiskey writing song for himself and then doing well with it so we should encourage these guys but right now burner boy is one of the biggest artists in africa internationally and we have the likes of rema actually doing numbers internationally this guy is recording with the likes of burner boy davido whiskey and a lot of others internationally based on the record and statistics we are seeing right now yes he is one of the most streamed african artists on spotify or he has one of the most streamed album on spotify about a billion stream on spotify that is a big number for rema and rema's scandal remix has gotten two times certification in the us and that is really a big achievement so we should start looking at this guy because he got a lot to offer he got age on his side he's got the talent and this guy got the humility and the respect and good relationship within the industry what is your own take about that what can you say i want you to put that in the comment section a lot of people are coming out to blame don jazzy for selling major stakes of maven records that has trended for a while and some people are blaming out don jazzy for doing that because they feel that don jazzy is selling the future of afrobeat to the western world that is what is happening but they are not the major decider of the decisions within this particular um, musical uh, record label and other things that is something you need to understand don jazzy still preserved that right to take major decisions on artists and signing of uh, you know record deals with artists and that is really preserved in the terms of contract 
for Don Jazzy. But you need to understand that Don Jazzy alone and his, uh, you know, local partners, they cannot really fund, you know, those bigger projects of Maven Records. So he needed huge money. He needed better distributions internationally to be able to, you know, sell the works of his artists and decided to partner with Universal Music Group. And this is really wholesome. That is something I believe about that. These people are not interfering in the decision making of Don Jazzy within Maven Records. So we should still respect that kind of contract because it attracts a lot of international goodies to Nigeria at a time like this. Don Jazzy's record label is one of the most successful record label in Nigeria, followed by YBNL or Lamide's record label. That is something I kind of understand big time at a time like this. And some people are really excited with the whole you know, moves of Don Jazzy and saying that is big money, big investment and big opportunities for artists on Maven Records. The likes of Irasta, they are going to go global right now. The likes of Rema is already global. The likes of, um, you know, kind of uh, uh, Boy Spicy and a lot of other magics and then Johnny Dream, these guys are going global and that is really, really exciting at the time. So we need not blame Don Jazzy much because of these sales contracts. Yes, Davido is going to be dropping his fifth studio album and a lot of people are really excited for Davido at that and saying that it's going to be banging hot. Remember that Davido dropped a song recently with Chris Brown called mm. That Song? <laughs> A lot of people are really critically analyzing the song and is getting some attentions right now on social media. I think we have to support the video on this and we have to support his um, activities on this. Some people are still fighting over Davido getting a private jet saying that not be Davido by and John and Papa. So whether you like it or not, Davido has equal access like his father to that private jet. So is also an owner of that private jet. That is one thing I, I kind of understand about the old thing that is trending out on social media. What is your own take after spending about $75 million dollars on getting a private jet that is more than the net worth of burner boy and whiskey based on the equal access the video has to that private jet automatically the video owns a private jet that is what we can really say by this whole thing that is trending out on social media what is your own take about that what is your own opinion about the story don't fail to put that in the comment section because a lot of people are really talking about this and is trending out and getting louder at the end of the day whiskey has promised to drop sixth studio album a lot of people are saying this time around whiskey you have to invest money in promoting that album i listened to an interview by a particular person saying that yes whiskey deserves all the accolade because this guy has actually used his money while in a particular record label that is big around the world use his money to produce his album market his album promote his album and that is a big win for whiskey at that and this time around people are saying that whiskey you need to actually promote your album to an extent because your last album more love less ego was really a flop to an extent because most people don't know much about that album what is your own take about this i want you to put that in the comment section put your own opinion in the comment section so that you can talk about it further before i jump off i want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far if you are new here you can click the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos i love you guys keep supporting afrobeat blog across social media platforms